Hi everybody, my name is Tim Heidecker. I'm the president and CEO of On Cinema and Dakar. I want to talk to you about a company called MoneyZap, a company that was there for me when I needed them most. Every small business owner knows that having access to capital is vital to keeping your business in operation. I found that out and I'm using MoneyZap every single day. It's easy to do, signed up in seconds, provided some basic financial information, and almost immediately, I had $25,000 in cash in my account, just like that. Money Zap saved my ass and just might save yours. Thank you, Money Zap. Us Cinema's back. We got the money and we are back bigger and better than ever before. What a great movie. Movies, money, and so much more. It's on Cinema at the Cinema, season 11. With your host, me, Tim Heidecker, president and CEO of On Cinema Productions. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On Cinema at the Cinema, the only show that takes a hard look at the movies coming out every week and gives you honest, uh, informed reviews. I want to thank uh, myself, basically, for putting out the MoneyZap.com commercial. This is not something that they paid for or even asked for. It was which is why it shouldn't offer. be on the show. What should be on the show my guest is, is Classic Greg... Movie Time, okay, which is my new segment, which actually deals with movies and not companies that are completely unrelated to what we're doing here. Well, I was going to introduce Greg Turkington from the VFA here is with us to review movies. Hey guys. He's not here to talk about what I should or shouldn't do with the show. I did the commercial for MoneyZap.com because they are one of the main reasons you're here. It's the reason Classic I'm here. Classic movie time is the reason the viewers are here because they want to get expert information about movies from days gone by as well as current movies. They that are, not are the prime investor in this show. So how do you... Divorce that. If you I mean, borrow money from someone that doesn't make, they don't even, they've never even heard of the show. Go to their office and ask them. They don't even know what you're talking no, about. You know, this should be about movies, and that's what you promised to me when I agreed Greg, to come back. Know, it's a public service announcement that I created for my audience so that they understand how Money Zap works. I'm doing it out of the goodness of my heart, and I have the they right to do that because I'm the CEO and the sole owner of this company, and the only reason you are here is by the grace of God. And that right now, my friend, is me to you. So do your fucking job and chill out on telling me what I should and shouldn't do. I did my job. I produced a segment called Classic Movie Time, which oh, a lot of people are excited about, and you didn't air last week. Okay. So I did my job. No, no. And you need to do your job and actually watch some of these movies and review them on the show and not run commercials for companies that have it's nothing not to do It's not a commercial. You call it a commercial again, I'm going to bust you in the lip. Now, I'm, you're here because I want to keep you on a short leash. They say the Bible says keep your enemy, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer, and that my is Bible great says advice. let's review some movies and, and stop talking about there's money. There's plenty of skeletons in your closet that I could easily reveal, that I have revealed, and I will continue to reveal. Well, there's skeletons so in, in the, the closet that you're about to find out because by taking on the Delgado Holdings Corporation, you also took on quite a bit of debt that they had as well. Right, so no. you, first enjoy of all, that. You might know a little bit about movies, but you know nothing about business. And well, let's I was move working. On. Pretty closely with on. the Delgados before uh, you purchased. Uh, you want to talk movies? I would love to talk movies. That's All what right, I said the at first... the beginning of the day, and that's what you promised that we would be doing, and then you hit me with this money zap thing. All right, well, our first movie today is The Joker, directed by Todd Phillips, cast directed starring Robert De Niro as The Joker, and uh, Joaquin Jacqueline Phoenix, and Zazie Beats. Okay. This is the story of the Joker from the Batman and Robin show from years ago. And, uh, and the this movies, is... the Tim Burton movies. Yeah, well, that was played by, of course, Jack Nicholson. Now we have Shining. Robert De Niro playing him. So a little bit of a different spin on it. Still the same look, same makeup, same kind of almost like a clown. You know, all he's missing is the red nose. But uh, an interesting movie about the, how we got uh, to meet the Joker in, the, in Gotham City. And another great movie from the Marvel uh, gang. Batman. And you know, you almost wish, it's one of the few times that you're rooting against Batman. Because usually you're rooting, for, usually he's the hero. But in this case, they sort of flipped the script a little bit. It's interesting to see. Uh, making sort of the Joker a little bit more of a likable character. And that's thanks to Robert De Niro, known for... So many great roles. Uh, I give this five bags of popcorn. I think Robert is going to win another Academy Award here for his portrayal of the Joker. Um, um, five bags of popcorn and a, uh, I'm gonna give bag it, of popcorn, six bags. Well, that's not, you can't, you can't do that. What'd you think? 
I think this is fantastic. It's De Niro at his best. I don't think he's made a movie this good in the last 10 years and maybe in the last 15 years. So I think that De Niro is definitely an Oscar pick. Uh, never been better um, in this role. And Marvel has done it again. But I'm going to give this movie five bags of popcorn. And I'm going to throw in a little movie ticket. Not a memento of a movie ticket, not a souvenir ticket, but an actual movie ticket, uh, which I hope is given to you so that you can actually see this movie. Because if mm. you'd seen it, you'd know that Joaquin Phoenix plays the Joker, mm -hmm. not Robert De Niro. Okay, uh, let's bring out, uh, all right. There is, well, he played a number of characters. Not, the, not the, the Joker. All right. So I've got a segment coming up. We're going to close hold out the show that. with We're classic hold on movie that. I time. Got a special guest. People want to out. Okay, me. but we're going to see classic movie time after, after special this special guest because people have been looking forward to this segment. So okay, this is a person that's very near and dear to the on cinema family. Joe Estes. Uh, no, Joe couldn't make it today. I want to welcome back somebody who's gone through a lot and he's given so much to us, and we're happy to report that he's back on his feet. A friend of the family here. He's uh, done a lot of work for us. A great comedian. Um, and a former employee of ours who's had some very difficult and challenging medical uh, problems recently and more. Um, let me welcome him to the stage, and he's, we're going to talk all about it, so stay tuned. Mr. Mark Porch. Pro. Let, wait, let me say the name and then come out. Mark Porch. Correct? Porch. Okay, now you can come out. Right. Good to see you, buddy. How are you? Doing well. Feeling good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, good. Take a seat. Get here, Mark. Oh, watch your head. How did you get here? Yep, did, 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 did. How did you get here? Um, Tim said, uh, Mark, uh, I've asked you the show today, first of all. Oh, there's a lot I want to get to you, a lot of questions I want to ask you, some serious, heavy stuff. But I want to start things off light. You, when I spoke with you on the phone, you said you were eager to get back in front of the camera and that you want to get back into doing your impressions. And you told me you've been working on some new impressions. And everybody's a big fan of the Mark Proach impression. Uh, so let's get into it and quickly because there's other things I want to get to. So you said you've been working very hard on a particular person. Who was that person? Uh, the Carson show. Johnny Carson. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's let's see that now. Can we do a? Uh... Here, here's Johnny. What's that? Here's Johnny. Hi, everybody. We have a, a really great show for you tonight. Um, we have a uh, welcome. All right, let's get to the sort of the, yes, very good. Uh, let's welcome um, out uh, the star of the TV show, Beretta. Robert Barrett Blake. Yes. I, thank you, Mark. Approach. That's the beautiful stuff. So, Mark, um, <laughs> I'm happy you're doing uh, impressions again. They're very entertaining. I did want to let you know that I've been studying and following your case, your medical issues. We all know what happened to you. Everybody that watches understands that you had a medical incident and that you were incapacitated for a period of time. Do you know how long? I mean, I, I know it was... Um, from the, the tank on my head. Well, let me ask you this: What? Uh, who got you out? Of the, who got you? Who got you out of the coma? Who snapped you out of it? From your understanding, and you can be frank with us. Um, you. That's right. Next question, and I know this is not easy. Do you have any records of the Medicaid billings that or cycle uh, checks that were sent to you throughout the time that you were incapacitated? Do you have any? Uh, way of knowing uh, how long you've, uh, how much money kind of came and went through the process, through the procedures, uh, and through your time under, as they say. I, I wasn't um, working or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let me assure you, friend, because you are a friend, and um, I am not district attorney, but in, in a lot of ways I am acting as one. For a lot of people, I'm the CEO of a big company on cinema, and uh, another uh, the car and everything else. And I, I have a lot of power. I have a lot of influence. And the good news is, I've been talking with John Stodden. Now, if you don't know who that is, you gotta look him up, because 
This guy is the leading expert on Medicaid fraud. And I've told him about your case, and he's eager to look into it. And I think I really just want to tell you at this point, first of all, I've always had your interest at heart. And at some point soon, I want to start a dialogue between the three of us and get to the truth and get this stuff exposed. Because there's a lot of people that took advantage of you. No. And there's been a lot of fraud, actually a lot of abuse. And we're going to find it all. We're going to open those window shades and get the light in. The light kills all germs, as they say. And we're going to get to the bottom of it and get you the money you deserve and and some because there's a lot of people who took advantage of you. So thanks for coming on the show, Mark. Uh, tell me that you were doing this. Okay, we're going to be back to next week with a couple of great, exciting well, announcements. First, a big, on, exciting announcement about food, the company and some restructuring I'm doing that so everyone's going to want to tune in to hear the breaking news in that department. Secondly, we're going to have the great Josh Lorton, director of Mr. America, so on the broadcast to talk about his new movie, Mr. America. So documentary that follows oh, my fraud. Uh, successful attempt well, from at see it was a successful Medicare. attempt at running for district attorney but that's what you San Bernardino. 24 hour thanks day. for joining us today folks that's let's end tonight people. with a moment of prayer no because you had thank 20, the creator for giving us all the gifts that he gives us every single second 24 of the day. hour a day Quiet care praying a 24 hour a day care hey eyes closed Thank you back, but next time tell me if you're going to be popping in like that.